This is my first go at using this test. I made a mess of it, but I'll let you see the process. Here goes. I'm pretty sure this is what you do. You just press it in. I don't think that's enough. Maybe. Don't press the bulb at the top. That's for squeezing it out at the end. I think I've to reach that line. You put it in S and you use the bulb to squeeze it. Two drops of buffer. This is the lancet. I've already done this one. You rotate it and pull it out. It says the lancet's in there. This contains two things. Well, three things, but that doesn't matter. That's a silicon thing. Don't lose this. That's the blood collector, the capillary blood collector. So let's get two things of importance. That's the actual cassette test. It's got a use by date there. I would say that's from a purchase to this date it would be about nine months. That's just a silicon thing. I'm going to use this finger. Wait until it dries. Here goes. I'm pretty sure this is what you do. You just press it in. I don't think that's enough. Maybe. Don't press the bulb at the top. That's for squeezing it out at the end. I think I've to reach that line. I don't think I can use the jag again. I'll give it a try. Nah, it's gone. You only get one shot. I'm just going to go with that. I don't think I'll get it anymore. You put it in S and you use the bulb to squeeze it. Said no air bubbles, but I don't know. More mistakes.
Two drops of buffer. One. Two. Take the result at around ten minutes. I suppose it's a green, amber, red result. You've got deficient, you've got insufficient, and you've got sufficient. And you want your control to definitely be there, which is C. This colour card seems to be wrong. I think that should be bright red. The most red. Insufficient. Looking at this. So, that should be... Actually, it should be second reddest. Sufficient should be the lightest. Deficient should be the strongest red. So this seems to be missing. I'm at a five minute mark and I think I'm going to be normal. Sufficient. I'm at 9 minutes, 10 minutes is a mark, and I'm looking at this now. It seems the darker the test is, the more insufficient you are. Although you're at that level, you may be sufficient. If you've none at all, you may be excessive. Too much vitamin D. T equals test. I'm guessing I'm looking su sufficient. That's me the 10 minute mark. It says at 20 minutes it's no use to test anymore. I'm going to guess that means sufficient. It's light. It says in this paper, if it's lighter than the control, red. At least that's how I'm taking it. This was no use because insufficient. Insufficient, you're maybe darker, red. So I'll throw that away. Go with this. Well, this is a one-time go, as you can imagine. It's just to give you an idea. I may check it against that colour card, but... What do you pick it up now? I would say I'm definitely... I mean... I don't know. Well, I hope this was very helpful to you. That's me, the 12 minute mark now. I'm going to say that's sufficient. But guess what? I can't be sure. I'm reading this again. I said if it's darker than the control line, but it's, arc it's actually if it's darker than the, the line on the colour card. But insufficient. 
hasn't got a colour. I mean, maybe I'm deficient at 10 nanograms or whatever that is. Could be. Sufficient, but I could be sufficient as well. And this red line's missing, I'm presuming. The darker it gets, the more... Inefficient, more deficient you are. What do you think, guys? The mystery continues, but I think I look okay. Looking at it this way, if it's still viable, it's about 15 minutes now. I would say it's more deficient. than sufficient so it's a bit darker it looks to me and looks more like that one so I'm going to go with deficient now the real way to do it is to go to the doctor and get the correct clinical test Looking at this now, insufficient's meant to be in the middle red, but it's not there. So I don't know whether this colour card's wrong or... I mean wrong with all three, rather than just the insufficient one. I mean if I was to go with that one, I'm definitely sufficient. If you get zero in the test, test bit, if there's no colour at all, then you're, you get too much vitamin D. You're maybe taking too much or for some reason you've got too high vitamin D in your blood. So having no colour means that you've got excess vitamin C, D, not insufficient. The lighter the T is, the better you, the situation you're in. Apart from if there's no colour at all, in which case you've got excess vitamin D. In a way, I don't trust this colour card at all now, so I did get it pretty cheap on eBay, I don't know. As long as it's given me the correct result, I think it was a pretty good test kit. I would give it 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10. The Jag thing worked nicely. I suppose you really need to know, because you press it in like that and it just bops. You don't need to pull this back or anything. That's probably the bit most people get stuck at. So as long as the results is accurate, it's a good kit. Make sure you've got that. It's in, in there. But it's not as good as a clinical test which will tell you your exact metric amount. This is just three levels. So it definitely doesn't replace the clinical test. This is just green, amber, red. And I guess also zero for excess as well. If there's no colour. Looking at it in clear light, I'm starting to think I might be on the deficient side. But my line isn't even straight across and I'm wondering if I didn't have enough if I didn't have enough blood as we saw in my, my dropper. Maybe I didn't have enough blood to cover the whole thing. So, I'm totally in the dark, really. I mean, that bit there looks dark. But I can't tell. What do you think, Mummy? The long-term answer to this is to write to your politician and ask to let them let you pay for clinical tests just pay direct you can see them you'll pay and you can even make it a profit for the health system I mean is this calling itself a colour card if it is it's way different 
from this colour card as may be insufficient. The mystery continues. If that's the colour card, I'm definitely sufficient. So I got this kit for around £6 on eBay and I'm sort of left in limbo. In summary, I don't know if I put enough blood in for it to clearly show. Also my colour card seems to be untrustworthy because there's no, no colour in that middle one. That should be the middle red. This is maybe the darkest red. And sufficient should be the lightest. The more darker you are for tea, the more deficient you are. But it's only green, amber, red really. It's only three levels. And I can't tell. I don't know if that's because I didn't put enough blood in or... To me it could be either. Either of these. I would say really, if you're going to do this, maybe buy a pack of five so that if you're not used to it, that is, so that you can, you know, practice and get better. One final thought, what I would call is knowledgeable doctors suggest that the current recommended level is too low and it should be higher. So that's another factor to think about. But at the moment, the, the conservative level is between 30 and 100 nanograms. So I don't know if the knowledgeable doctors mean the 100 nanograms is more the minimum sufficient, something like that. So you need to think about that, but I'd say if you're over 30 nanograms, then the, conserva the mainstream health system is saying you're sufficient for vitamin D.